I love video games. Halo, Mortal Kombat, <laughs> Minecraft. Hey, yo, what's good, guys? Look at my setup, man. Man, look at that, man. I glued this shit on the wall, man. This is my first movie review. Well, well hello, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. I just saw Ready Player One. When I saw the trailer, I had zero expectations. Zero. <laughs> In fact, I expected this to be cringy as fuck. And lo and behold, I was right. Angry Joe gave this a 9 out of 10. <laughs> Big fan. Ready Player One plays in the not so distant future where everybody is now playing this VR game. So it's obviously an absurd fantasy scenario. In this game everything is possible because reality is so horrible and people need to escape it. Upon his death, the inventor of the game reveals to the public that he has three, key three keys three, 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 somewhere in this game and whoever finds them will get they will own it, they can control it and change the rules to their liking. Imagine it like a giant scavenger hunt that uh, actually decides over the fate of a multi-billion dollar company. BMW did something similar not too long ago. Oh no, they didn't, they didn't. That wouldn't make sense. So there's the main protagonist. Story forgot his name and his personality because he has none, just like me. <laughs> he wants to win this competition together with his friends and so does this giant evil bad horrible company. They also want to win. So, who is gonna win? Well, I think the movie isn't bad. That much has to be said. Stefan Spielberg is an amazing director. He has done Saving Ryan's Privates, Schindler's Fist, Vow of the Worlds. Juffs, don't forget Juffs. He didn't fuck anything up here. Ready Player One looks incredible. So props to you. I mean you. <laughs> Happens. But here's the issue. This movie feels like that weird relative you have who is not that old, but too old to have grown up with video games. But he still feels young and hip, so while you're playing video games, he stands next to you like... Xbox. No, it's a PlayStation. I hate you. Ready Player One references one video game franchise after the other, hoping that the young audience will go like, Overwatch! That was Overwatch! <laughs> Mom, where are my pills? This movie barely has any original lore and it shows. If the Oasis is a place where everything is possible, then nothing will surprise. Great, there is King Kong and T-Rex and this crap and that crap. Whatever, man. Ready Player One is not consistent and doesn't have to stick to a certain universe, so it can just come up with anything. So who cares? And what do you say? Okay. <laughs> maximum cringe, maximum cringe. This movie is just has no identity. It's just everything is Easter egg. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I thought when we got in here. In my eyes, I know they're small. So what? Fuck you. Building excitement and suspense correlates directly with the viewers understanding the rules of the game or the movie in this case. <laughs> For instance, let's take the movie non-stop. Wait, is it somewhere here? No. It's not the best movie ever, far from it. But that movie sure as hell is thrilling because you know that at no point in time will Jesus ever pop out and, and save everybody. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it would be ridiculous, ruin the atmosphere and convert me back to Satanism. Long, long short, a good film sets its own boundaries and sticks to them. Jean-Jacques Rousseau. But if you just say, hello, we got everything here, please, please, ha <laughs> dirty western dog, then it's like you got no identity, you got nothing. And that is precisely what <coughs> happened here. I was scoffing every 10 minutes, like, <coughs> because I thought, sure, that just happened. Of course that just happened. Why shouldn't it? Everything can happen. Where's Lisa Ann? Lisa Ann should appear. I'm ready to check it. Furthermore, the characters have no distinguishable personalities, and I didn't feel for any of them. Actually, just the way they were designed was very unpleasant to the eyes and made them Pretty unrelatable to me. Okay guys, I admit, VR gaming doesn't even remotely interest me or fascinate me and I don't play any MMOs, okay? I admit it. I admit it. Which means I just claim the moral high ground, which means I'm right. Easy. By the by, I know I'm not sharp right now, but... You're welcome. Uh, now suddenly everybody likes video games. What's up with that? A couple of years ago they were all shitting over our hobby and now, whoa, I love video games, always have. It's a great industry. <laughs> Bunch of fucking smart businessmen doing smart business decisions. And although I said before that the CGI is great, there aren't any great action scenes. I know. What? Back then, many people were hating on Sucker Punch, which, by the way, 10 out of 10 for tits and arsh. Real talk. 
But you cannot deny that movie had some of the best action and fight scenes ever. I say that as a true Shaolin warrior. <laughs> I'm a disgrace. Here it's just a thousand things exploding on the screen at once and all the people in the audience looking for the references. Last but not least, the main villain ultimately shows that this is a movie aimed at kids and young teenagers. He's very one-sided, black and white, comic book villain with no nuance. And then you also got the juvenile love story. All of which is fine, you just have to know what you're in for. Ready Player One is a CGI monster with tons of references and a Disney movie fairy tale plot. I wasn't bored, but I also wasn't entertained. Five out of ten. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you like the movie, tell me in the comments so I can block you. <laughs> what did you think about the movie, Sophia? Well, it was... Wait, you're a woman, right? Yeah. <laughs> <Cut>. <laughs>